All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is BMP here. Welcome back to another episode in the adventures of Spenolf the Mountain. Last episode was a fun one. We single-handedly changed the tide of war against the Northern Empire. We went from getting absolutely clobbered to kicking them out of our lands. And it's we're at the point where we can peace out with them pretty soon here. And they're going to owe us tribute, not the other way around. Um, seriously, a complete 180. In doing so, we took out a bunch of lords and made a ton of money. Look at this. We're sitting on almost 100,000 dinars. Almost six figures. Svenos, well, sh shoot, Svenos, what, seven foot tall, six figures? He he might be the one man to get dates off of Tinder. He's that one per that top 1% Chad. <sighs> I'm jealous. No, um... <laughs> <laughs> so anyways this episode uh we're gonna we're gonna get our last licks in with our core here and then we're gonna see if we can't if we can't just get uh our kingdoms to make peace here um just because the Batanians came in here and kind of cock blocked us this this w these were towns that we could have taken now he's kind of like that dude in the fight that's breaking it up like hey, stop 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 get in the middle and um it's just awkward for us to like skip over them and then to what take take Rizos castle diadma i don't know it's just kind of weird so i think we're gonna peace out with them just so we don't have to worry about their lords coming in and uh raiding us on top of that i'm a little concerned that war with either batania or vlandia at this point is gonna break out again and guess whose castles are like prime targets in either of those situations yeah so uh i would like some time to try to beef up those garrisons try to consolidate our gains as well as put our uh, our newfound money to use. But first things first, let's fight. Yep, yep. We got this, right? He did attack us, but no, 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 we got this. By the way, I want to thank everyone who uh, left kind comments, wishing me wishing me well. Uh, good news is the uh, the sickness has uh, pretty much completely passed. Um, I've got, like, occasionally a few coughs and some, some sinus stuff, but I think it, man, I, with how long it took for it to go away, like, well over a week, I, I think it might have been the flu. Um, I wasn't even thinking about that until my uh, my roommate brought it up. Fuck? Is this y'all in loose formation? This doesn't look very loose to me. What? Why are they not? Hold up. They were nice and spread out before. Make them spread out again. Can I? Oh, I can do this. Interesting. Oh, interesting. The more you know. Okay. Cool. All right, we'll do that. Charge before I fuck anything else up. <laughs> uh, they're going to charge us, right? They're, yeah, they attacked us. Uh, they should charge us. Cool, cool. We've got a nice little... Hill here. Does everyone have sight lines on them? Yeah, everyone's got pretty decent sight. Okay, cool. All right. The other thing I want to work on, by the way, um, is uh, I want to figure out our workshop situation. We've got all this cash. We got to put it to good use. And uh, I'm sick and tired of our goddamn brewery earning us zero dinars a day. Zero. It has not turned a profit since we bought it. And we spent like 20 plus thousand dinars on it when that was all we had to our name. We spent a lot on it to get no return, so I'm a little salty about that. Svenolf Ice, the uh, delicious iced ale beverage, has uh, been a complete flop. It has been a failure. So, we're gonna... Holy shit, is that you? I don't think we have any other Imperial Sergeant Crossbowman. Good shot. Good fucking shot. God damn. Okay, here the peons come. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Whew. One of these days, that's gonna land. Oh! Oh, no, I'm really short. Okay. Okay. Whose horse did I hit? I mean, they've got a lot of ranged units. They've got a lot of crossbows, but they just don't stand up to, uh... Batanian Fions, baby. It's not even close. Shoot, they don't even stand up to, uh... To Svenoff. Yeah, look, they're just falling. Alright, infantry, cavalry, go ahead and get on in there. They're doing their final suicide charge, but, uh... Actually, wait, they've got a lot of cavalry left. Oh, ah! 
I got, <laughs> got kind of nervous and bailed out halfway there. Ooh, get fucked, Batanian Scout. Ooh, ooh, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Okay, hello, hello, hello. Ooh, <laughs> 114. Absolutely decapitating that poor, uh, that poor cataphract. Good, good. I want another one. Oh, cock blocked me. Oh, that's a good hit, good hit. Come on, one more. Woo, down he goes. Ooh, come back here. Why doesn't anyone... Ooh, there was the Lord. Nice. Why doesn't anyone have, want to have fun with me? Just duel me one-on-one. -on -one. That's all I ask. Take any losses there? I think the few ones I saw, I think were pretty much all knocked unconscious. I think that was a pretty fucking good battle there. Uh, who's left? Are we not done? It's literally one enemy? Come on. Where? Oh, there he goes. Okay. We good? GG's. Okay, we lost two. Who'd we lose? Oh, some militia archers? Bro, whatever. Look at that. 17 renown, 34 influence? Hell yeah. Oh, that's awesome. And it's gonna be a bunch more money for us once again. Okay, welcome to my prisoner pool, baby. And 43. Holy shit, can we even... We can't even carry that many. Suffering from success over here. Uh, go ahead level up those Batanians. Tell you what. Let's go ahead and upgrade these guys into Trusenix, I think. Yeah. We'll hold off on upgrading them into champions, but might as well upgrade them into the Trusenix. We don't have that many of them anyways. Alright, any upgrades here? Not for us, but these are pretty good. Those might be upgrades for... Athanus? Yeah, hey, upgrade for Athanus. There you go. Alright, beautiful. Take the rest. We level up. Leadership, 75. What do we got here? All right, authority. Increase party size limit by 5. That's pretty nice. Uh, troops in your formation cause 10% more morale penalty when they kill an enemy. Ooh. Those are both really good. This is definitely way better long term. But for right now, plus 5 party size, is, that's, that's decent. That's quite decent. In fact, I think we might pick it. Yeah, I mean, that's just big for us right now. That's... What does that take us to? Yeah, it takes us from 92 to 97. I think that's... Yeah, that's big. We Yeah, that's a no-brainer. And we can always respect that later on. We can always respect that later on. Especially with how much cash we got nowadays, you know. <laughs> Money ain't nothing but a thing, baby. We're, uh... We're rolling in it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's go ahead trade off all of this crap. We got, uh, yeah, don't care about any of that. All right. Whoo, let's see. Another 10K, just like that. Um, although now I'm thinking about it. We have way more troops than we had uh, horses now. We should probably 646 for war mounts. I think those are worth buying. Oh, how much did that just improve our uh, 4.86 to 4.97? Okay, okay. Um, all right, so 4.97. If we get some trotters. Oh, we get 0 .0, We get 700 for every... Uh, oh, come on. Give me more. Give me more. Still going up. Still going up. Oh, it was done there. Okay. Uh, let me give back five of those. Beautiful. Hell yeah. Oh, that was nice. That took us up like, what, uh, 0.4 speed? That's a decent amount. That's no joke. That's no joke. Awesome. Love to see it. All right. And then some more. Ooh, look at that. Six, 6,500 for the prisoners. Um, now, some of those are ones that we're keeping. We're pretty much only keeping the Batanian uh, Fions and then that Variag. The rest of these guys can go. That's 6k right there, baby. And that puts us 
over a hundred thousand. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. That's awesome. All right. Wait, wait. Okay. So we've got all this money. We want to put it to use, and what that what that needs to start with is this brewery right here. Sven off ice has been a flop. However, we spent so much money on the naming and the branding. We're keeping the same name, but instead instead of being, you know, Sven off ice that you drink, it's gonna be Sven off ice that you wear. That's right, iced out wrists, iced out necks. We're getting into the jewelry business, baby. Svenoff is going to corner the silversmith market throughout all of Cal Radio. So 2K to change it? That's actually not even that bad. Um, I've got a plan for this. I've got a plan for this. I saw a guide from Strat Gaming that seemed to work pretty well. So check that out if you're interested. But the basic premise is this. There's not that many silversmiths across all of Cal Radio. So it is actually feasible to go around... Like during a peacetime, obviously. It is feasible to go around and buy up every silversmith in the game, immediately change it to a different type of business, and then sell it off. Change it to like a, a brewery or something like that. And then leave it so that you own the only silversmiths, like, you know, two, three of them, in all of Calradia, so you have a monopoly on the market and the prices go through the fucking roof. That is my goal. That is my goal with Svenoff. He's going to be the uh, the Gucci, the Prada, the Louis Vuitton, the Ro Rolex. I can't think of any other luxury brands. This is, <laughs> this is not shit that is in my uh, price range. Um, <laughs> he is going to have that kind of control. That's what I want. I think that would be kind of kind of fun. But we do need peacetime in order to do that. And to be honest, we need more than just 100000 Um, That's not going to be enough. Uh, but if we do get peace here at some point, I will start doing that research as well as, uh, continuing our work on getting the great sword made. But, all right, let's take our troops. Um, how much can we hold? Can hold another 14. Tell you what, let's get some, uh, noble tier units on the way over. And, uh, yeah, I think that should work out pretty good. Boop, 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 boop. Thank you very much. Cranorog's another one. Yeah, and we'll just see where we go from there. Uh, okay, basically, as soon as I paused it, um, Carabanseth just rebelled. Fuck. Um, well, wait, no, hold on. Let me think about this. This could actually be an opportunity. This is right next to our fiefs. If we were to summon an army to retake this and then spend a bunch of influence on saying, hey, no, this this should go to us. We we earn this. We might get our first town. That could be very big. I was a little... Okay, that threw me off at first. But as long as the loyalty in our castles is doing okay, we don't have to worry about them rebelling. And this could be an opportunity for us. Oh, look at all these Otrox. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. And then eh, we'll take a Sturgeon Soldier. Tier 3. Not bad. Um, I guess we can stop an Uthalam to get the last couple ones that we need. Yeah. Okay. Opportunity arises. I don't mind this at all. Oh, I don't know why I thought Caldog was on our side. For some reason, I was like, oh, we've already got an army here. Perfect. Oh, hello. Oh, fuck. They're, uh... Batanians. Alright. Fine. Fine. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's run over here and scout it out. What are we working with? Okay, we got a peace offer to make peace with the Cusates. I don't hate that. Yeah, we're gonna have to pay... Uh... Tribute. But I'd prefer... Once again, I am... Really worried we're going to have war with either Batania or Vlandia breakout, and I need our lords closer to us. Yeah, alright, we make peace, cool. I'm not super worried about the uh, tributes. That's not going to be too much out of us. How are we not... We get... Oh, wait, now they're saying we have to pay tribute with the Northern Empire? That's not what it was when I checked it out before the episode started. Alright, lovely. Alright, what are we working with here? Okay, 302. 
302 is doable. That's not bad at all. Uh, they got a couple lords running around. Oh, yeah, look at this. Eric? Bro, he's trash. This dude's trash. Oh, my God. that's I thought this was a caravan. They're, they're, their groups are so weak, I thought it was a caravan. All right, bro. Come bring this dude to me. Come on over here. Oh, my God. These country bumpkins. I'm not... No, don't ask him about the Battle of Pendrake. He's never heard of it, let alone was there. All right, we're going to fuck these dudes up. All right, let's see what these guys got. Spoiler alert, I do not think it will be much. Are they gonna... Are they gonna come to us? We have to come to them. Uh, if one lone horse archer making his way over here, please, let me let me hit this shot. Let me hit this shot. Oh, fuck, we nearly got him, too. Is that the Lord? Get the fuck out of here. This is the Lord? No. Nah, accuse a noble son. Okay. Warriors! Alright, I think Soldiers! we're gonna actually have to move up on them. Follow me! I just need to get our boys in range, and then uh, it should be curtains for them. Alright, there we go. Our boys are within range. I actually got a really nice javelin kill, but I got shot in the process. I need to I need to keep on remembering to do that in the beginning of battles when they're all clumped up and it's easy shots. It's like good for our throwing XP. I want to get those juicy perks. Oh, that was perfect, like head level. Woo! Night, night. Sleep tight. Woo! Don't let the bed bugs bite. One by one. Oh, I don't like those. I don't like that. I don't like one of those guys. Hello. Goodbye. Uh, I'll let our archers have some fun. Actually, oh, just the next get in there. Might as well get some kills. Is that the Lord? That looks like the Lord. They have sh they have shields, but to I don't. It takes a lot of a lot of shields to hold up to that much firepower, man. We're throwing a lot of. Well, I guess it's not a lot of lead downrange. It's a lot of. What are the arrow tips made out of? Probably just iron, right? Or steel? Actually, I don't know. What were medieval arrows made out of? Did they just use regular iron for them, or did they actually use steel? Charge the infantry. In. Yeah, why are these guys just slowly walking towards us? There's the double kill, by the way. We've got a, we've got a bunch of nice skills this, up, or this battle. Beautiful. We done? I think they're done. Yeah, zero losses. <laughs> 18 influence though. This is it? Actually, it's not bad. Like we take these guys out. It's this is a good way to grind some uh grind some uh some influence. Because we're going to need that for decisions, especially if we're going to try to force them to give us the castle or the uh the town Carabanzef when we take that. Oh, and we just got to tier 3. Oh, that's awesome. That's sick, actually. All right, I can pay a ransom. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm sure you can. You're you're still my prisoner, buddy. Um, let's take all of your boys. Oh, that's eight Trusinic champions. Oh, that's that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice right there. Um, mm. maybe we hold off on that just for the time being. Alright, there's some nice, some decent armor there, but once again, I kind of like, just like our speed. That's a lot of extra weight on our horse. Once again, until we start having problems with our, our horse getting taken out, I, I feel like we don't need better armor that's going to slow us down. I don't know, that's how I'm feeling at least. I don't know why I'm looking at their loot. Of course, these these country hillbillies don't have any loot for us. That's going to be better. Um, Something get upgraded? Someone else got an upgrade. Udris. Oh, got some throwing skill. Nice. Uh, yeah, this one. Beautiful. Okay, is this another lord here? No, that's a caravan. That's one of their lords. Jesus, man. Was that their leader? He had like 60 troops. That was, that was the best they got, huh? Do we call an army now?
Because people are a ways away. It'll take them some time to get here. I think we just call the army now. Now, how much do we spend? So we've got like about a hundo. I feel like we want at least 400. If we're going to besiege him. You know what I mean? Right, let's start with the low cost guys. Like this, I don't get what the, why some of them cost way more than others. Do they just not like us as much? Whereas like people that really like us, we don't have to spend as much to get them to join us. Not sure on that. Okay, what does this get us up to? About 200, 300, 400 or so? This is a good amount. I feel like this is a good amount of troops. Maybe one more. That's only costing us 68. Yeah, so we do this. That costs us 105. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. That leaves us with well over 200 still to complete the siege. And who's the furthest away? So three day, three and a half days. Ah, four and a half days. All right, it's going to take him some time. But once again, that's fine. We can start the siege while we're waiting for all of them to show up. That works. All right, let's do that. Let's head over to Drumore Castle. Drop off. Hmm. Oh, we can carry so many more troops now. Oh, perfect. Okay. All right. Let's drop off the Drusenic Champion for the time being. I do not want to lose them. What do we take out? Heavy Axemen? Fiat Champions, Veteran Bowman, maybe? Actually, let's take out a bunch of these guys. Let's train them up. There's going to be a siege anyways. So this is the time to use them. Uh, yeah. I think that's the move. Alright, cool. Yeah, let's do that. Um, in terms of the dungeon. Oh, they can't actually hold that many prisoners here. Hmm. We can actually hold a lot more if we really wanted to. Yeah, let's take them. That's a caravan. Ah, we got 241 in that castle. It's actually, our garrisons are not bad. They're not awful by any means. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, he didn't get inside. Oh, he didn't get inside. Perfect. Oh, let's chase him down. Let's take him out now. We're going to sandwich him with this guy. Come on, please tell me. Yeah, there you go. Beautiful. Help Godin out. All right. You guys don't need to watch this since this is just going to be a stomp. I don't want this episode to get too long. Um, We're going to quick stomp him out. And then, yeah, we'll start the siege. This guy is one of the guys who's joining our army anyways. Um, it should work out. It should be good. All right. There we go. Stomped him out. I got 21 kills. <laughs> Yeah, I probably took too much damage in the process, but that's fine. That's fine. We didn't lose anybody. That's the important part. Our Otrox started leveling up. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. All right. You are definitely my prisoner. I thought this was a ch like an old lady for a second. All right. Boom. Beautiful. Highborn youths leveling up. Oh, six Otrox. Awesome. 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 All of that. And then he should be joining us, right? Pretty sure he's one of our guys. Go ahead and besiege. Beautiful. Alright, even if they were to sally out now, we should be able to manage it. Um, we are actually going to get at least... Probably at least a ram, right? And a siege tower? I don't know if the rest of this is going to make that big of a deal. We can try it. We can, Maybe we can try a Mangonel. I'm not exactly in a huge rush here. We are waiting for our boys to get here. All of our troops, they're still a ways away. Yeah, might as well. Um, yeah, at least uh, at least the ram. They've got a bunch of ballista. All right, I don't love that. Okay. I want a battering ram. And I want the siege tower. 
And then we'll make... Yeah, just Onager should work. Onager should work fine. Yeah, we'll build those three. And then, then we'll see where we're at in terms of all of our allies getting here. Yeah, they've got full Ballista loadout. Mm. Is there anyone new for us to recruit? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Okay, cohesion is still looking good as well. We can always top that off. We've got we've got tons of influence to play with here. We're in no rush. Also, holy shit, workshop income plus 166 a day? Oh my god, it's actually turning a profit. Svenoff Ice has been born again from the ashes, reincarnated like a phoenix. Holy shit, we might actually make money on it. Okay, so here's the deal. Our Onager's about to finish. The problem is, they've got four Ballista. It's gonna instantly kill it if we just leave it out there. All of our Lords have shown up except for one. Olek, and he is still almost two days away from us. It's gonna take him forever to get here. We outnumber them fairly significantly by about, you know, 30%. I think we might just go in with what we have. As soon as that Onager is up, I think we go in. Um, alright. Ooh, our first tactics perk. Let's see. Your troops receive 20% less morale penalty. Line, loose, circle, or scatter. Or... Infantryman, uh, blah, blah, blah. Shield wall, square, sky, and column formations. Hmm... I feel like we use line and loose a lot. We don't use shield wall all that much. Boy. But we might use shield wall more in the future, and shield wall is more likely what we're going to use if we're outnumbered greatly, and we're actually worried about morale penalty. I think this one's actually the move. Hmm. I don't... I'm not sure about that choice, but that's what we're going to do. Ooh, wait, hold up. Workshops owned by you have 20% increased production? Oh, that is that is perfect timing for what we're trying to do. Uh, siege engines are built 20% faster. Oh, shit. That would be great to have right now. What is this one? Reduce food consumption while in an army by 10%. Eh, whatever. Garrison wages are decreased 20% for castles. That's actually pretty decent. But this one is really nice. Sweatshops. <laughs> Oh, uh, Svenolf's uh, stocking. Look, uh, there might be some controversies in the in the future about Svenolf Ice's, uh, you know, work practices, labor conditions. But for right now, we're not worried about it. Uh, all right. Oh, truck. I'd level you up. Boy. All right. Let's be ready to pause it as soon as this is up. Are we gonna fight this during the night? Wait, hold up. Okay, move to reserve. Yeah, I, f I remember you can do that. Can we build one more? Do we go for a full break in the wall? Maybe we could. Maybe we could do that. Let's build a trebuchet. Build a trebuchet. I, don't even, I want to see what that looks like. Did they kill our... No, no. They didn't kill our onager. We're good with that. If we get a trebuchet and an onager up at the same time, are we able to... I think then we're, we sh we might be able to start fighting back those Ballista. I guess we're going to wait for the other guy to get here after all. I forgot just how long sieges can take. Okay. Onger up, both of you guys. Do something with it. Do something with it. Like, presumably attack someone? Oh my god. Did they just one-shot the... Uh the ballista? Oh, fucking nice. Oh, trebuchets are OP! Give me another one. Oh, look who finally decided to show up, Olek. Thank you. Oh, we can wipe out all their siege equipment. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, keep on giving me trebuchets. This is perfect. We can keep this up. Look, they're going to run out of food way before we do. 
Oh my god, awesome. Yeah, we can call it we can we can get a hole in the wall. This will be sick. Plus, I've kind of been meaning to uh, try out the onager. All right, give me a sec. Let me let's get at least one hole in the wall and then oh, Eric escaped. Ah, whatever. Let's get at least one hole in the wall and then we'll go ahead and send it. All right, never mind. We just had another army join us. 830 to 330. Let's just send this thing. All in, baby. Let's get it. It should be good. And I should actually get I should actually be able to use the mangonel a little bit now that I know you guys taught me last time how I can actually change the uh, firing distance on it. Hopefully we can uh, lock that in and get some really nice big kills wherever they have infantry masked up because they actually have a decent amount of defenders this time too for us to actually hit big clumps. Okay, here we are. All right. Uh, ba -ba -ba. For our infantry... I'm guessing he's got like nine. Ooh, he's got nine as well. Oh my god, Olek. All right. Glad we waited for you, buddy. You look cracked. Uh, four ranged. Ooh, six ranged. Nice. Okay. Also six ranged. Nah, we'll give it to Tovier. That's our boy. There you go. Good stuff. All right, we've got everything here. Where's our mangonel at? All the way back here. No, let's have the mangonel here. Trebuchet there. Mangonel, nice up close. So we'll be able to attack anything. All right. Uh, wait, why'd this go away? There we go. Beautiful. Uh... Where the fuck am I? Okay, we're going this way. Holy shit. This is one of the biggest sieges we've done, I think. Good amount of troops. Alright. Uh, are we... What are we even looking at? Bro, this is kind of... This is far away. Holy shit. Is that gonna hit anything? Dude, what the fuck? That's short as shit. I might have fucked up by, uh... Alright, let's increase the power. Alright. Try it again. Ooh, that looks better. Okay, we're landing on top of the walls at least this time. I want to hit that archer's nest over there. I feel like there's people there. We're putting, them, we're putting these shots right where I want them. I just, I feel like there's... Enemies, like, aren't there for some reason. Alright, maybe let's try a little bit harder. Alright, that's as hard as it goes. This is as far as this little onager can send it. Okay, no, that, that went over, that went over. Alright, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Right about here. Come on. Oh, there we go, baby. Alright, we got one. I want some more. I want some more. I tell you what, let's, let's hit the sides next to it. Let's try over here. I, I see some archers. That might be over. That might be too far for those. Oh, no! That was perfect! <laughs> Just like that. Oh, we're, oh man, we wiped out the, the defenses there, too. Come on. Okay, now there's no one left. We killed everybody that was there. Makes sense. All right, slightly inwards. I want that guy. Right there. I want him. Oh, we took out the wall right next to him. Shit, alright, we just need... Oh, look, he's running away. He doesn't like it. Nah, bro, I'm coming for you. A little bit further. Come on. Oh, wait, what the fuck? What the hell? Over there? It's not... It's not where I was trying to aim that. It might be too far away from uh, where this is stationed for us to hit. Come on. Come on. I think that's too far away. All right, you guys, have fun with that shit. I want to get in on the fighting. Where's my horse? Nagasaki. Or, I don't know. Whatever you're called. Let's get out of here. Oh, shit. The sea tower's already... The sea tower boys are already making it in. Ah, I'm missing out. I'm missing out. Holy shit. They're charging right in. What? There's like 300 enemies defending this. No, I thought this was going to be like a, a tough defense. Or a tough siege. It feels like we're just waltzing right in like any of the other ones. 
again. Here's some conflict up ahead. Uh, hopefully there's a little something here. I don't know. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, well, let's take out the archers that are uh, kind of picking on our troops right now. Fuck who shot me. Oh my goodness, hello. Okay, they've been hiding. They were hiding. <laughs> oh boy, oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck. I hope there's a fucking ladder over here. There is, okay, thank god. Of course, they're getting work. There's hordes of them. Where do these country bumpkins come from? Oh my god, they're hitting me with, like, fucking wooden mallets. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I saw that archer shooting at me. I don't think so. I don't think so. Ah, don't let him escape. Don't let him escape. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Svenoff. Go to work. Go to work. Holy shit, there's so many of them. It's like someone cried... Or, like, yelled fire in a crowded movie theater. No one's... Everyone's getting trampled. No one's getting where they want. Oh, God. I, I just had a cough attack. I hope I muted that correctly. <laughs> Holy shit. We are fucking dominating them. Oh, that was fun. Oh my god, look at how bloody Svenoff is. Where are they even going? We're, you guys might as well, like, surrender if you're just gonna run, man. I mean, you're, you're kind of locked in here. Also, how did one of my Druzenics beat them? Are they actually going to make us chase them all yeah. the way? Or wait, do we actually have to do it like a castle fight scene? Or are we done? Holy shit, that was beautiful. We lost nothing. Oh my god, spent all 39 kills. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Oh yeah, retreat us to the keep. Oh, we gotta keep on fighting. This is the first town battle we've done. Oh. oh. All right. I hope this is this is this is just as good as Warband. Okay, 24 left. The defenders have pulled back and are mounting a last stand inside the keep. You know what it is. Uh oh, I get to choose who I take with me. Uh no, I'm not taking my Fion champions into close range combat. Grab all the lords. Then... I think just some heavy spearmen should do fine, right? That should be good. Actually, our heavy axemen. Heavy axemen. Yeah. Beautiful. I got my crew. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, wait, they're, they're literally just hanging out. There's some dudes on the other side here, like this guy. What are these guys doing? Well, awaiting their death, apparently. 90 damage, nice. Oh, I'm gonna hit him. Fuck you. Oh man, they actually had this, like, kind of barricaded up for a battle. Oh, there's way more of them left st still. Oh shit, we keep going. Alright, keep it up, keep it up. Yeah, they got like their own tower defense like game going. <laughs> Ooh, I didn't even intend for that double kill. Hello, baby. Oh, 332 damage. GG, we cleared him out. Oh, baby. 27% of the loot, not bad at all. And... Alright, a good amount of troops here. We'll take... We'll take all of them.
for the time being. We can always throw them back in if need be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sure none of that's all that decent, so we'll just loot it all. Beautiful. Care Banteth, I swear to God, my name better be on this ballot. I will be upset if it is not. Plus, we just went up to Tier 3. We just went up to Tier 3, so I think we... Uh... All right, we'll go ahead and show Mercy, since we're hoping that this uh, you know, goes to us. Ooh, okay. They did not like that we did that. Are the lords that were in our party, I'm assuming. Okay, good to know. Good to know that in the future. Um... Policies. Okay, can I see who's gonna get the, uh... I wanna know who this castle's gonna go to. Can we not? Did I miss it? Maybe I have to leave first? I'll tell you what, I'm gonna donate some of these troops here. Just because I do not want to risk having some of our good units run away from us. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, trade. We'll sell off everything. Eight grand, not too bad. And then, last but not least... Go ahead and ransom off all the prisoners. Beautiful. Oh, new athletics perk. We're getting so close. Oh my god, we're getting so close. Okay. Strong arms gives one focus point in throwing. But troops in your formation get to plus 20 throwing skill. All right, that's not awful. Versus strong legs. Decrease fall damage taken by 50%. Kick damage is doubled. And then it's a governor perk. Oh well, shit. All right, I guess we might be going strong arms here. I mean, we're, we're getting up there on our throwing anyways. Mom is... I guess that's not awful. Ranged troops have one plus one ammunition for throwing weapons. That's actually a pretty good perk. And this would probably get us up to here, where we're giving our troops more throwing skill. Okay, you know what? I don't hate that. I really don't hate that at all. Strong arms it is. What was the other option? Yeah, strong legs. Yeah, Svenoff definitely does a lot of, a lot of chest day. Boom, we'll take it. Beautiful. Oh, we leveled up too. And we get another endurance point. Baby, we're getting so close. Oh, we're getting so close. Yes, we're back to a 12 learning rate. It's with it's within our sights, lads. Mighty blow. Stunning our enemies after they block their our attack. And each skill point above 250, granting us HP. Oh, that's gonna be nasty. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Okay. So let's see, we do have a focus point here. What? Oh shit, what do we want to spend this on? Oh, I think it's a no-brainer. Look at this. We're already uh way beyond the learning limit of 130 here. Yeah, we need a little, little more love for our two-handed there. Beautiful. Alright. Okay. Alright, so let's see. If we leave here now, where is the decision? Am I crazy or did they just automatically give that to somebody? Do I need to watch, watch back the footage? Bro, I think Ragavan just fucking took it for himself. There, I, there was no vote. Dude. Aw, oh, that's... Bro. That's ass. That's actually really annoying. Alright, get the, get the fuck out of here, guys. You can disband. I don't need you guys anymore. Um... Damn, man, really? That is, that is actually, like, super frustrating. I would have at least liked to vote. This uh, this might be the beginning of the end for uh, Svenolf being a part of the Kingdom of Sturgia. That was a slight that he is not going to take kindly. Oh, man, it would have been sick if there was a tournament going on. We have so many lords here. Shoot, I should have thought about that before I disbanded them all. Next time I have an army, I need to run around to towns and uh, 
fucking do tournaments in them that'll have super juiced rewards. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, here we go. Here we go. Vote for the new owner. Okay. Oh, yes. They're all voting for me. Oh, come on. Please, baby. I'm a, I'm a vote myself. I'm a vote myself. I'm sorry. Roland, Godin, my G's. Uh, like, come on. I, actually, that'll just piss him off. We've, we've got plenty of people voting for us here. Roland isn't even voting for himself. Godin's barely voting for himself. Come on. Come on. Let's go, baby. Let's go. First town. Oh, Caravan Seth to spend off with the console's support. That makes us one of the very few with three fiefs. The only one. Holy shit, we have more than uh, Ragavan does. Yo. And the best part is, like, they're all right next to each other. When it comes time to rebel, which Ragavan just bought himself a little bit more time before it's time for us to rebel. But when it is time, that is a very defensible position. It's all right next to each other, and it's on the outskirts of Sturgia. And we're not that close to the rest of Sturgia. I, I kind of like the position that we're in. All right. Well, on that note, let's run over here. Check out what the garrison's looking like. And then I think it's about time to wrap up the episode. We're getting pretty, uh, pretty long here. All right, manage town. Brother, I, uh, I have a new, uh, <laughs> I've got a new spot for you. Actually, what, what? Do I have to take him away first? I might have to take him away first. All right, uh, go to keep, manage, garrison first. I don't know who that marina person is, but all right. Um, oh man, our, our allies dropped off a bunch of troops here for us to start off the garrison, right? That's beautiful. Love to see that. All right, give me a sec. Let me manage uh, all these. I might move a bunch of our... I probably shouldn't move too much of the garrisons over from our castles to here. I should keep those decently stacked. All right, I went and got our brother. So, Nozon, we're going to bring you here instead. All right, it'll take him six hours to get here, but that's beautiful. All right. Now, let's take stock of what we have here. All right, so a lot is missing. Make no mistake about it. A lot is missing. Okay, I'm working on militia right now. Number one thing right now I'm worried about is loyalty. Nozon will slightly help with that, but that is going to be taking big hits pretty pretty quick here. Um, hmm. <laughs> Town now. Fuck. Wait, wait, wait. Forget fort. Forget fortifications. Militia grounds. It's not bad long term. I don't need garrison capacity either. Do any of these give me loyalty? Fairgrounds does. Okay. We're doing fairgrounds first. I'm going to dump... Fuck it. We'll dump 10k in here. To really get that jump started. That should help a lot. How many days is that going to take? 47. Oh, boy. Jesus. Even with uh, the bonus reserve? Damn. All right. Loyalty is the biggest thing we're concerned about for right now, though. Yeah. Oh, there's a silversmith here. Okay, let's, uh... Maybe let's go have a talk. Uh, I just want to have a talk. Bro, who just left this random child out on the street corner? What are they doing? Some sketchy dudes over there. What? I don't know. I don't know what's going on in this town that, that now belongs to us, but... All right, we're almost there. I, you know, it has been too long since we've seen uh, Spent off in his his true naked form. He's been at war for so long in his armor. I think he's enjoying just uh, having some time to uh, free ball it a little bit. Do I talk to you? I'd like to buy this workshop. Seventeen thousand, easy money, baby. Uh, I want to change what we're producing. Go go ahead, keep this. All right. Thank you very much. Cool. This is mine now. Beautiful. <laughs> Slow hand Oena. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Uh, by the way, I am uh, your ruler now, and uh, this is mine. We will give you minimal monetary compensation. Alright, let's go ahead and wrap this episode up here. This was... Man, what a successful episode. We, uh... <laughs>
I, I was nervous. I was nervous at the end. I really thought Ragvan was going to fuck us over on the town. But we not only managed to make a decent amount of money, money so that we're able to buy some new workshops, switch over. We're starting the, the new Svenoff Ice New. Um, we stopped the rebellion in its tracks, and we are the new owner. We have a, a fledgling little kingdom here when it, when it comes time. Two castles in a town, that's right next to each other on, the, on this mountain chain. That's not nothing. That is not nothing. Only downside is it is on the, like, the borders of three separate kingdoms. So when it does come time to rebel, there's going to be a lot of peace, people looking to take pieces of us. But uh, no, for right now, I'm happy with this. Anyways, as always, leave some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about this series and all the rest of the series that we got going on right now. And until next time, as always, take it easy, lads.